the border tonight. President Biden says he's being forced to add new sections of border wall. This 20 mile stretch is being paid for by taxpayer dollars. As Jay Gray reports tonight, the president still says the wall is not the answer to problems at the border. Like so many who crossed the Rio Grande, the move announced by Homeland Security came overnight. The Biden administration waiving 26 federal laws, clearing a legislative and budgeting path to build a new section of border wall in South Texas. The decision comes as the border crisis continues at a record pace. Last month, there were more than 200,000 illegal crossings at the southern border. The surge of migrants stretching resources to their limits in cities across the country, including New York, nearly 2,000 miles away. Our clinics are full. And there are waiting lists and people are turning people away or referring them to other places. The initial wall was built by and a policy cornerstone of the Trump administration. The new project calls for about 20 additional miles of that barrier. The political implications, though, could stretch much further. It looks like this is a promise broken. Uh, there's no easy way to describe this other than a flip-flop from President Biden. The former HUD secretary and fellow Democrat referring to this campaign promise from then-candidate Joe Biden. There will not be another foot of wall constructed on my administration. The president now saying he had no choice. I tried to get them to reappropriate, to redirect that money. They didn't. They wouldn't. And in the meantime, there's nothing under the law other than they have to use the money for what was appropriate. I can't stop that. Do you believe the border wall works? No. As crowds and questions continue to build along the border. All right, that was Jay Gray reporting. We're going to